campaigning platform of breast and ovarian cancer awareness, but I had no idea how much I would learn about these deadly I am here in Washington, D.C., and it is my first visit to the nation's capital. I'm so excited to be here, and I've just had so much fun. We've been lobbying for ovarian cancer awareness and more research and more funding. I feel like we made such a difference today. A lot of the senators were on board with us. I can't wait to see what comes out of it. That's the Supreme Court, Library of Congress, Capitol Building. I've seen it in movies, now I'm actually here. Kind of cool. I am so honored to be here and be able to use the Miss USA title to open those doors for the Ovarian Cancer National Alliance. It's been really great to be able to meet firsthand with the senators, with the congressmen, and get our message straight to them. It's oh. a challenge one. I wish you good luck, Charlie. Oh my gosh, okay. thank you. One of the most alarming things that I have learned about ovarian cancer is how subtle the symptoms are. And because of that, it is called the silent killer. All day we've been running around, going from meeting to meeting and appointment to appointment, definitely changing the shoes, going into flats, back into heels, but we've been running between buildings even. We started off in the Senate building, and then we ended up in the Capitol building, which is so exciting, and I got to meet with Harry Reid, who is the Senate Majority Leader, and his office was phenomenal. It was huge. He had a balcony that overlooked so much of D.C. It's been an amazing experience. Now is the time for Congress to work together to support the National Institutes of Health and invest in medical research to continue the advances that have improved the health of people across every corner of America. Thank you.